Gentlemen, how's it going? It's nice and early in the morning before I go in and train my first client. So here we go. Today, we're talking exercise rotation, how to strategically rotate your exercise variations so you can make faster progress in size and strength while avoiding training plateaus and injuries. So the two types of exercise rotation we're gonna talk about is how to vary your movement variations from workout to workout and on a monthly basis. So jumping right in, workout to workout rotation. It's just gonna be variations, different angles, different loads, different sets, different reps, different equipment that's best suited for the goal and exercise. We're gonna get into that in a moment. Why would we do this? Well, first off, it simply works better faster, AKA builds muscle and strength faster. We know this not only from experience, but we do have university studies that prove it, okay? Also, using the correct equipment for the right load set and rep combination is going to help you keep the joints and connective tissues happy so you don't have to take months off on end nursing stupid injuries, okay? So here's a, a, a good example of that. I suggest using barbells for your lower rep high load movements. This is pretty standard. I mean, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. You know, your deadlifts, your squatting, your bent over row, your benching, your overhead pressing in that low rep range of five to seven reps, probably using 80% of your one rep max plus. These are the movements that really build that, that angular dense muscle and most of your brute strength that's going to allow you to move more weight for higher volume on some of your other movements and accelerate your results. However, I think the, the power of the barbell is underappreciated and it often gets overutilized. Using a barbell too much for every single exercise you can do can really start accumulating some aches and pains in the joints because you're constantly forcing them through that rigid range of motion holding on to a straight bar. So I suggest rotating into single leg variations for the lower body like split squats or dumbbells for some upper body work like the incline dumbbell press you see here. When you're working in those typical hypertrophy rep ranges of eight to 10 that you're probably most familiar with. This allows you to get in more volume more frequently without screwing up your joints and vertically loading your spine every single time you go into the gym. And again, it helps you mix things up, keeps things interesting, and simply works better faster, okay? So here's a quick example of that. For the chest, heavy barbell bench press for five sets of five, right? Pretty straightforward stuff. I think we've all done that, hopefully. But going to that incline dumbbell press, say on a Wednesday, switching up the angles a little bit, doing three to four sets of eight to 10, dumbbells are far better suited for this type of work. And again, easier on the joints. And then on Friday, you might throw in a parallel bar dip, five uh, sets of as many reps as possible with some body weight, body weight exercises. Great way to get in a lot of extra volume that's very easy on the body. So there you have it. That's how to rotate your movements from workout to workout. Barbells for your heavy low rep stuff, dumbbells, single leg variations for your mid rep ranges, and there's nothing wrong with throwing in some good old body weight too. All right, so let's move on to month to month variation. Now month to month variation is just gonna be using the same movement patterns in a slightly different way or same but different. And again, this is also going to help you avoid uh, aches, pains, and injuries because taking your body through the same exact movement pattern for months on end is not a good idea, okay? And it's also going to help you progress faster because you're going to avoid training plateaus. When you use different variations of any given movement pattern, it's going to have a slightly different strength curve associated with it, which will ultimately help you get stronger and continually progress over long periods of time. Perfect example, good old fashioned deadlifting here. You see three variations there. You see your conventional deadlift on the left hand side. You got a sumo stance, narrower grip, wider stance right there in the middle. And then you got your 
stiff-legged or Romanian-style deadlift on the right. You can easily rotate th through these three variations of a deadlift or hip hinge movement pattern one month to the next. And again, avoid injuries, better muscular development, keep things fresh, keep things exciting, and ultimately will make you stronger when you circle back around to that conventional deadlift again. Okay, pretty straightforward, easy stuff. So what did we cover? Well, workout to workout exercise rotation builds muscle faster and helps you avoid aches, pains, and injuries. Monthly exercise rotation will help you avoid the dreaded play, training plateau and progress for months at a time without hitting the wall. And of course, as disciplined as we like to say we are, keeping things fresh and engaging in the gym is a must. You got to go in there ready to kick some ass, not like it's some extra chore. So if you can mix things up for yourself, make it a little bit more interesting, why not? All right, that is it, guys. Uh, hope this was helpful for you. Check the emails. Um, again, I don't like to go more than three, four days without putting out something useful for you, whether it be another video, blog post. We're going to be delving into more diverse subjects. I know I've been talking about strength training an awful lot lately. We're going to be delving into diet. I've been getting a lot of emails with questions around that. But we're also going to be talking about lifestyle factors too, talking about energy, talking about mental focus, talking about kicking ass in all areas of life. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by and we'll talk soon.